I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is PsychAx Better Living Through Psychology. And the subject of today's short talk is Memento Mori and Happiness. As you likely know, Memento Mori is a Latin phrase that means reminder of death, namely one's own death, one's own mortality. We all know intellectually that we're going to die, but the vast majority of us live in a kind of emotional denial of that reality. Otherwise, how could we go about our everyday lives? It would be very difficult to sustain the structure of society if we weren't in denial with respect to the ephemerality of our existence. But this isn't something that society does to us, per se. It's generally something that we do to ourselves. Coming into emotional contact with our own mortality is kind of like staring at the sun. It's not something that we can do for very long but it is helpful to look at it every once in a while, or own mortality, that is, and to look at it as long and as steadily as we can tolerate. And this does two things. One is that when we remember that we're actually going to die, and that our time on this planet is limited, we get busy doing the things that really matter. If our time is short, why bother spending it doing things that in your heart of hearts you don't really want to do? that aren't furthering your growth, that aren't making you happy, that are creating a positive legacy in their wake. In order to avoid pain and disappointment, I mean, those things are gonna happen anyway. There will be pain and disappointment in the path you take to pursue your dreams, as well as on the path you take to avoid them. So why not live in such a way that you can look back and say, like Frankie, hey, I did it my way. Get busy doing the things that really matter. So memento mori, first and foremost, helps us to prioritize that which is most important in our lives. And the second thing it does is to help us let go of the small stuff. Think about it. If today were the last day of our lives, do we really want to spend it complaining? Or regretful? Or resentful? Or heartbroken? If it's overcast on your last day on this planet, don't complain about the lack of sun. Go out and play in the puddles. Let go of all the needless suffering about the small stuff. Maybe today is as good as it gets. Maybe tomorrow onward will be a slow, or not so slow, decline into decrepitude and oblivion. So do you really want to spend what could potentially be your last best day whining and irritable? Let's hope not. So that's what Memento Mori does. It helps us to focus on what really matters and allows us to let go of all the rest. Thanks for listening. If you have a topic you'd like discussed in a future episode or would like to schedule a consultation, you can reach me at psychaxpodcast at gmail.com. Until next time.